You're watching EAC News. Thank you for joining us. Every year, more than 11 million tons of plastic end up in the oceans. German NGO Everwave was originally created to remove ocean plastics, but has now shifted its focus to the main source of ocean pollution, rivers. According to the River Ocean Cleanup, 90% of plastic polluting from our oceans comes from just 10 rivers, and the Mekong is among them. Everwave has partnered with River Ocean Cleanup at their Zero Waste Center in Phnom Penh to remove and process waste from the three rivers that converge at the capital city. EAC News reporter Anthony Ellis has the story. Since March of last year, over 400 tons of waste has been cleared from the Mekong, Tolosap and Basak rivers. The weight of the waste they have removed equivalent to 90 elephants and could fill 400 Olympic size pools and cover 80 footy fields. EAC News visit Zero Waste Centre in Phnom Penh, which does much more than just collect waste. People work tirelessly to sort out the waste, which in a view an available resource that can be used to produce new materials. We spoke with the project manager for Everwave, Jackie Plaster, to learn more about their process. The everything we think we can recycle mechanically, we are working together with local recyclers, with international recyclers, and um, yeah, trying to make um, new products out of it at the end to, to give the materials a value again and also to show people that this is not trash in the end, that it's valuable material and this is something you should yeah, laugh at the end and treat it like that. Non-recyclable materials are bailed, which reduces CO2 emissions for transport, then sent to Campot working with Chipmong EcoCycle. It is then a co-process for the use of the cement factory, where plastic is worked into the cement in lieu of natural resources. Everway also collected data to determine root causes of the pollution problem. Um, we are weighing all the materials we are collecting because we also want to understand what kind of materials um, we are collecting at the end. So we are trying to not only collect the materials, but we are also trying to collect data um, to understand more what types we are collecting, how high the percentage is. For example, we are collecting around 14% textiles, footwear, leathers, which I was really surprised about in the beginning. Um, and yeah, with that, we also hope that we can try, uh, that we can understand the problem like in a, yeah, on a, on a, mar on a large, bigger scale um, at the end and work together with other companies, with the government, um, yeah, to solve the problem really at its roots. Changing people's views on the waste is a primary goal for the project whose members advocate for the shift towards trash as a vulnerable commodity. Everyone we spoke with stressed the importance of the collaborations between individuals, the government, and especially the private sector. We wish to have every company to participate in the mission um, to make um, our water clean, because everyone drinking water from the source of the river. This is the only fresh water source that we have so far, and that's a gift from, from nature, so that we have to protect the nature as well. Thank you very much for your time. Over major issues are public awareness of the effect of pollution and the lack of infrastructure, mainly bins and dump masters, where citizens can deposit waste. Hong King Buddha, operations manager for ROC, explained how different communities have different needs. I think there are different components involved, not only education alone, but sometimes infrastructure, law enforcement, or it really depends on, I would say the first step is about how people react to the waste or how they manage. At some, at some place, they have the infrastructure, but they don't have the knowledge or the accessibility of, uh, I mean, the way that we bring the waste to the front, uh, let's say to the road, is quite hard quite not accessible and at some point from like from my experience that I go to the community and I ask okay what is the problem here why is a lot of waste so how do you guys manage the waste and they said okay people at the market they just bring and dump into the river not them you know and when I asked the people at the market they said okay these people live in the village they are the one who polluted so it's different kind of idea you know it's a conflict but I would say it's everyone take part in that and everyone can be a part of the solution as well. Noel Savan highlighted the dirty work that must be done to produce green results. And the green job is sometimes it's smelly, you know, it's sometime before getting green we have to clean. 
it is clear that the people at the Zero Waste Centre are passionate about their work. Much of the staff is made of family members working together towards a better future. I really feel very proud of, of uh, every day's uh, working, um, you know, to, to really do something, a positive impact for the country. That's inspired me to do what we are doing and inspire our team here to continue doing what we do. And the, the Hong King Buddha says he wakes up every day with a sense of purpose. I love my job. Even though it's a dirty job, it's hard lifting the big bag, but I'm happy. The team sings their project taken years to complete but hopes that one day their operations will no longer be needed. Um, but we have this problem and with all the problems in the world, we want to solve this problem and then we can see how we are going to adapt afterwards. But yeah, I think we will need a few more years and we need the help of everyone actually because this problem affects not only the environment, in the end it affects us. And I think that's also what is maybe not really clear sometimes that in the end we are getting the, sh the trash back on us. And, yeah. While the work can be seen undoubting, they remain hopeful for the future. That kind of thing takes time, uh, especially for the old generations. But now I think we can start with the kids. Sometimes kids can also influence or okay, motivate their parents, I would say. Jackie Plaster encourages everyone with the interest in protecting the environment to get involved. Um, you can join in cleanups, you can support us financially, you can support us with technical equipment. Um, and yeah, we can also exchange like on, about the topic itself. So everyone who loves to be part of it can be part of it. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to, to hear from you. Anthony Alice, EAC News.